Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my Sephora sale wish list. So the Sephora sale is happening the end of April this time, which is a little bit different for them. I think usually they do it like right at the start of April, but this time they're doing 20% off, which I believe usually the spring sale has always been 15%. Um, and then they're doing it 26 through like sometime in May. So I will list all the information on that down below. I'm also going to put my little affiliate link if you guys want to shop the sale and uh, support your favorite YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that. Obviously no pressure. Like if you guys don't feel comfortable using my link, that is totally fine. But just know that any money I make is just going to go right back into me buying more makeup. So you know, whatever. <laughs> but I just thought it would be fun to kind of talk about my list that I have going on for the sale because back in the day, I think my shopping hauls were a little bit intense when it came to the Sephora sale. I definitely have a VIB sale playlist if you want to go back and see some of the things I've picked up in the past, other recommendation videos. Like most of that information is still going to be very current and valuable for you guys. Let me just get to my loves list and I'm going to scroll and start from the bottom of my list and then go up so that I start with some of the other items that are always on my list. So I always have the Sephora collection foot mask on my list because I have really dry feet and that's just like a really easy way for me to hydrate my feet and they're five dollars and they work really great. I just wear them like overnight and then just put a pair of socks on so they don't like fall off while I'm sleeping and I wake up with really hydrated sticky feet so just a little tip for you guys. I also have the Youth of the People Superfood Antioxidant Cleanser on here. That's like my go-to morning face cleanser and that retails for $36. I don't think I need one right now. I pretty much have like a half a bottle so I might not be buying that this sale. That might be like a winter sale purchase um, but if you guys are looking for a really nice um, you know non-harsh formula for a morning cleanse, I would totally recommend that guy to you. I've always wanted to try the NARS Pro Primer, the smudge proof eyeshadow base. I think Casey Holmes used to rave about that a lot, a lot, a lot, but I don't really, I don't know if I need an eye primer right now. I just bought the soft ochre shade from MAC with my Ulta coupon just because I wanted like a base to cancel out like the darkness on my eyelids and I thought that might be a fun one to have in my collection and so I don't really need more eyeshadow bases right now. I also want to purchase a second one of these. It's the shower cap and I actually bought one of these one of the previous sales for $43 so they are a bit pricey but I do like the one I have. This one's just a different print and I thought it would be fun to have that as well as a backup. I don't know I just thought it was a good idea to have a backup so it's on my list but I don't really need it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay so Sephora does sell diffusers and I bought some from the brand Wall. Wool Spa, I don't even know how to say that word, um, in one of the previous sales, I think it was the like the Christmas time sale because I gave some away for Christmas gifts and I wanted to try some more scents um, and I do have some of those on my loves list so maybe I'll buy some of those. I have one in this room right now and I think it smells really good so I'm interested in doing that as well as I really want the blue jean diffuser by Capri Blue. I believe that's the scent that they pump into. Is it Anthropology? I can't remember, but definitely kind of curious about that. I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glitter Adhesive on here. They came out with this, was it Valentine's Day or something? And I'm kind of curious. My go-to glitter glue right now is the Too Faced Glitter Glue, but I like the Anastasia one because it looks like a nail polish bottle. Nail polish bottle, so I think it would be fun to like kind of apply the glue directly to my lid instead of kind of suffering and using a brush and then having to clean the brush and it's like a whole thing. So I'm very interested in trying that. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Insta Retouch Setting Powder. They came out with this a while ago. It's a $32 setting powder and I have so many setting powders that I didn't really want to buy this full price, but I'm kind of curious to see 
you know what it's like and if I can get it on sale even better so I'm kind of interested in that I also have my eye on these Huda Beauty Jacqueline Classic False Lashes for $19. The only real reason I want this is because Jacqueline is actually of Sri Lankan heritage and I thought it was so cool that her first collab which was with a Sri Lankan person so because of that reason I kind of wanted but I don't know if I'll get it because I don't really even wear the false lashes I have. Jue came out with this six shade blush palette a while ago for $42 and it's on my loves list but honestly I think I'm going to remove it because I have a lot of blushes and I really don't see myself using this one any more than the ones I have. And then I have the NARS Mosaic Multi Shade Highlighter and Blush for $42 and that one just piqued my curiosity because it was so beautiful but honestly again I just don't need to spend $42 on a highlighter and blush combo. I do have the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara on here. I was curious to try it. $28 seems a little steep for me because I love buying drugstore mascara so I might skip out on that. Plus I don't think I've heard the best reviews on it so I'm a little bit on the fence on that. And then I have the Sol de Janeiro Copacabana Body Fragrance Mist. This thing smells so beautiful, but I swear I bought the lotion when it first launched. I just treated myself and bought the lotion for my birthday, and I promise you it made me so itchy. And I've heard that from other people too, so I was really like upset and returned it with a swiftness. But I feel like maybe the fragrance mist might be okay. I don't think that's going to hurt me, but yeah, it made my legs so itchy. I was like, there's definitely something wrong with this formula, and I don't have have sensitive skin so that was a little bit shocking. Um, I like these Sephora palettes. I think they're so nice and they came out with this metallic pigment palette for $28. I have a different one that I purchased previously. Again it doesn't get enough love but this one is kind of cool that red shade in the corner is like really drawing me in so I, I kind of have my eye on that but again I just don't need any blushes right now. Um, I also have my eye on the Cover FX Brightening Booster Drops. Those just sound like a really cool idea because you can mix those in with your foundation. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel on my list because that just sounds really cool too. I never got into the dip brow, but I feel like the gel might be kind of fun because you don't, it looks a little low maintenance and that's $18, so I'm kind of curious. I always talk so much shit about Benefit Cosmetics and they finally came out with a shade of Hoola that I think might work with my skin tone. And you guys know I'm a bronzer fiend, so for 30 bucks I might try that. Although I hate dealing with Benefit's box packaging because I like a really big bronzer brush. And I know I've had the original Hoola and it's such a pain in the ass to get any kind of brush in there. So I'm still on the fence about that. Tarte came out with this beautiful brush for their found sealer, foundation concealer that they came out with. And you guys know I'm a sucker for palm print so this $28 foundation brush is really calling my name. I just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money on a foundation brush to be honest though. So it's on my wish list but I don't think I'll buy it. This palette... I hummed and hawed about and I had a hundred dollar gift card to Sephora from like those points and I I just couldn't decide what to spend it on and I thought the palette would be a perfect thing to spend it on so I bought the Biba palette by Natasha Denona for $129 but it was great because I used the gift card and so I only had to pay like 30 something dollars which made me kind of excited and I know it's a neutral palette and it's kind of a boring option but I just thought that would be such a great worker palette in my collection so I'm so excited to receive that palette and play with it. I've also been on the hunt for a good eyeliner so I saw the Kat Von D Cake Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Whiteout which is a pure white. Um, I haven't really looked into the reviews or anything but I'm kind of curious about that. I kind of want to see if that's any good. I also have the Viseart Petite Pro Number no. 5 Soleil on my list and I'm just really attracted to that yellow shade. I'm going to talk myself out of this palette though because it's just nothing new. I mean it's a cool color combo but realistically like I don't need any of those colors and I already have so many shades like this but I just think it's so cute and the yellow packaging and it's just yellow just gets me you guys and so 
Yeah, it's cute. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. I actually just hit pan on this, the only one I have. And so I was like, ooh, I need a backup because I hit pan. Um, so it's a really good setting powder and it's a pressed powder and it works really well. So I am excited for that. I've been dying to try the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because I heard that it helps hydrate your face, but it's also kind of sticky. So apparently people it says that it's gonna help your makeup kind of cling on to your face, which I find really curious, and so I kind of want to buy it and try it. I feel like I can wait for the sale, but I'm so curious. I also want to try one of these Huda Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks, and I have a few shades on my loves list, but honestly, $25 on a lipstick for me is kind of criminal. Lipstick is not my favorite makeup product, so I can say no for the most part. If it was an eyeshadow palette or something like that, it would be a lot harder for me, but 25 bucks is so expensive, and I have so many lipsticks, and I know I'm never going to get through them all, so I kind of want to just wait on it. I know my friend just got a few of them, and they look really cool, but I just don't wear enough makeup to justify that purchase. I might pick this up, I said no at first because it's so basic, but the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Eyeshadow and Mascara Kit for $48. That palette is so cute and little. I feel like it's going to be fun for travel. I don't know. It just looks cute. So, And Pat McGrath never lets me down, so I kind of want it just so I can have it. And then this Tarte Sunset Jewels just look really fun, $12. That would be fun to have for like Halloween or if I ever wanted to do like a avant-garde makeup look. I really kind of have my eye on that. Here's a new product that I'm really interested in trying. These are the Kevin Aquan Neo neo bronzers and I actually have one of the neo blushes and I love it so so much so when I saw that they just launched bronzers I was like hello and they're $38 so I feel like the sale is a great time for me to splurge on that and then I added two things from the Sephora collection the Moschino highlighter uh, cheek set which is the little set that actually looks like little highlighters for $36 and the Moschino Sephora pencil brush set because those brushes look so cute and they're shaped like little pencils and that's $58 if I don't get those I won't be too bummed but yeah that's everything on my Sephora sale wish list let me know what you guys think what you're planning on picking up I don't really think I have anything I need to restock right now um, so that's good and I really just need to do like a full inventory of my backups and stuff like that but uh, we're taking baby steps and yeah I'm so excited to get my Biba palette in the mail I think that's gonna be a fun palette to just have in my collection and I'm really hoping the mattes are super buttery and awesome and I totally don't regret using my entire hundred dollars towards that palette but yeah I'm really excited let me know what you're planning on picking up and thank you guys for watching this I will see you in my next one soon bye